यहां तक कि जितने भी सखिया है भजन कहने वाले साधक जन है राधा भाव और राधा जी का आश्रय लेकर के भजन साधन किया और ब्रज में आकर के जन्म लिया और किसी तरह से थोड़ा सा भी राधा जी का गंध मिल गया तो उसको अपना लेते हैं ऐसे जो देवी सुललिता ललिता गुण जो कि गुणों में अत्यंत मनोहरा है मनोहर है सबको अपना प्रिय जन जान करके गले में लगा लेती है और सबको शिक्षा प्रदान करती है राधा गोविंद की सेवा नियुक्त करती है जितने प्रकार के कुछ सामने तुम्हारा आकर यही आ जाएगा फिर यही टकरा देंगे तुम्हारे और समस्त सखियों में सर्वश्रेष्ठ सोलह हजार जुथर सखियों में सर्व प्रधान में ललिता विशाखा चित्रा चंपू लता इंदुलेखा सुदेवी रमदेवी तुंग ये आठ सखिया है उन आठ सखियों में सर्व प्रधान ललिता ये समस्त सख्य भाव से सखी भाव से उत्तर होने के कारण ये लोग किससे मिलते हैं स्वतंत्र रूप से किससे भी जाकर के ललिता के साथ में और सखियों के साथ में मिलती और ललिता जी के गणों में जितने भी सेविकाएं हैं मंजरिया है उन सब को अपना करके राधा गोविंद की सेवा में नियुक्त करती है ऐसी जो ललिता जी है हम उनके चरणों में प्रणाम करते हैं वे हम सब पर अनुग्रह करें हमारे गुरु वंश ने जो प्रार्थना की है जो भावना व्यक्त की है इस तरह से श्री रूप मंजरे के अंत श्री ललिता जी के अनंत में हम सब की भावना प्रवेश करें भक्ति रसा में सिंधु में श्री रूप गोस्वामी पाल कहते हैं भजन साधन में रागानुगा और वैध दो प्रकार की भक्ति जहाँ लोगों में तृष्णा बढ़ती है साधन के अंदर प्रकार उत्कंठा लालसा बनती है वहाँ रागानुगा है जहाँ केवल विधि और नियम होता है लोगों में तृष्णा नहीं अनुराग नहीं प्यास नहीं वो केवल विधि है रागानुगा में भी विधि है और विधि में भी विधि है विधि को छोड़ करके कहीं नहीं है विधि नियम तो सर्वत्र है रागानुगा का विशेष है कि उसमें लोभों में ये तृष्णा है प्रगाढ़ उत्कंठा है लोभ लालसा है इस तरह से भजन करते हुए जब आगे बढ़ते हैं तो उस समय दिखाया रागात्मिका में कामानुगा एवं समंदा नुगा और कामानुगा दो प्रकार की भक्ति है एक प्रकार की भक्ति है समुद्र के द्वारा कृष्ण में समुद्र भाव के द्वारा भक्ति होती है कामानुगा गोपियों के भाव में मधुर भाव में जो प्रति होती है उसको कामानुगा कहते हैं उनमें भी संभव इच्छा मई और तत्सत भाव इच्छा मई भक्ति है बहुत से लोग कृष्ण से मिल करके हम कृष्ण की सेवा करेंगे ऐसी भावना ले करके भजन करती है कृष्ण को हम स्वतंत्र रूप से सुधान करेंगे आनंद वर्धन करेंगे इस प्रकार भक्ति को कामानुगा भक्ति करते तो कामानुगा में संभव इच्छा में ही भक्ति है कृष्ण को मिलन के द्वारा कृष्ण प्रति विधान करना और तब तक भाव इच्छा में इसका अर्थ है कि राधा जी है ललिता विशाखा जी सखिया है श्री रोमन जरी आदि है उनके भावों के अनुसार चल कर जो लोग उनकी परिचारिका बन करके सेवा करती है और उस भावना से युक्त होकर उस भाव के तलात्म को प्राप्त करते हैं उस भाव की प्राप्ति के लिए साधन करते हैं उसको तत्व भावे छा कहा है इस प्रकार राधिका जी के पालनदासी के रूप में जो वर्णन किया है राधा जी के स्नेह कृपा के द्वारा अभिसंचित है उनके द्वारा लालित पालित है राधा स्नेहा देखा राधा जी के प्रति अतिशय प्रतिमान प्रतिमाति और उनके स्नेह के द्वारा लालित ऐसा हो करके ललिता जी के आनंद में 
हम सबको भजन करना होगा यही हमारी प्रार्थना है इतना कह करके राधा जी ललिता और रूप मंजरी ये सबको संबोधित करता है क्योंकि राधा जी का दो भाव है बस सेवा परिपाटी के विधान में बिना ललिता जी के आनुव्यक्त में सेवा नहीं कर सकती है राधा जी है राधा जी तो प्राणा है राधा प्राणा राधा जी करी है केवल राधा जी के होने से नहीं होगा जब तक ललिता जी के आनुव्यक्त में नहीं आएंगे तब तक सेवा परिचर्या नहीं कर पाएंगे सेवा परिचर्या के परिपाटी ललिता जी सिखाती है इसलिए ये समस्त बहुत विचित्र वर्णन आया है जैसे भट्टी ठाकुर जी ने कहा है वीडियो कैसे डिजिटल कैसे डिजिटल डिजिटल वीडियो कैसे जापान This place is Uncha Gaon. Yesterday, Maharaj was telling, Uncha means high, and Gaon is village. So, the village which is situated on very high altitude, on high half, high moon. So, this is Uncha Gaon here. As well as there also in the transcendental level. Ujbar, Shubhanand Prabhu is saying, this is the place, birth place of Lalita Sakhi. This is the most worshipable place for we all sadhak. This is the place of our object, goal. Shri Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ji is rendering a prayer at the lotus feet of Lalita Saki. Oh, I am your incapable, incapable Saki. Kinkari. Kinkari means servant. I am your servant. So incapable to serve you, but still your servant. An inspiration of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. In fact, Lalita Sakhi, she is so close to Radharani. Her, she is nearly of the same age, only 27 days older than Radharani. There are many types of Sakhis. Categorization according to their qualification. Samarkar Madhya, Samarkar Mukha, Samarkar Pragalva. And also the other category is Adhir, Adhir and Adhira Adhir. Shrimati Lalita Sakhi. Among Pragalva and Adhira Adhir is the top most. Shyam Sundar has got so many beloved, so many gopis. So he has to attend many times, others also. Radharani never wants it. And Lalita also does not allow to be so. So she also becomes angry whenever Radharani goes to anywhere else other than, or whenever Krishna goes to anywhere, anyone other than, and she promotes Radharani also. She induces her that remain in sulky mood. She creates sulky mood of Radharani and let her stay on that mood. This is the function of Lalita Sati. For Radharani, 
the most famous word, Maharaj also quotes and everybody even quotes. You are Kalankini, you have become unchaste publicly. Why? For this man, for this boy, he is called Krishna. Don't be now easy for him. When he comes, don't don't adopt easy path. Remain good. Because this is the only way you can control him. Otherwise, he will go out of control. No, no, no. What should I do? I love him so much. He is so much expert. He is so much good looking. He raises my heart. He controls my heart. He is everyone to me. Everything for me. Whenever he comes in front of me, I cannot control myself. It is very difficult for me if I confront him and I remain in sulking. It is very difficult. But Lalita is sulky. She again induces that sulky mood. No, you have to be. Strong, make your heart strong. Not only this that remains in sulky mood, but you have to talk to him also in a very sharp sentence. Not ordinary sentence. And it happens so. When Krishna comes, Krishna is coming from Chandravali, Kunj. Whole night, Adharani was waiting for him. But when Krishna comes, and she she sounds, she makes such a sharp sentences, piercing words and lines. What she says? Oh, Neel Rudra, Neel Lohit Rudra, Neel Lohit Rudra. Neel means blue. Krishna is blue, and Lohit Lohit means reddish, and the Rudra means. Lord Shiva. Krishna is coming from Chandravali. Her red sindur and many other symbols are on his body. The body that he met with Chandravali, they are very obvious on his body. Especially sindur of Chandravali on forehead of Krishna, like a half moon. Krishna is bluish and half moon on the forehead he is kept by Lord Shiva. So they are calling him, oh, Rudra. Rudra means Shiva. And what type of Rudra that you are Neel, you are blue and possessing and keeping red color on yourself. Neel Lohit Rudra, you are coming alone. Where is your Rudrani? Where is your <coughs> counterpart? You know counterpart? Not wife, Rudrani. Eh? Consort. Where is your consort? And <coughs> Krishna has no answer. Oh, Pashupati Nath. Pashupati Nath is one of the name of Lord Shiva. But at the same time, Indirectly she is referring to Krishna. Pashu means animals. And cow is one of them. And Pashupati Nath, that who is Nath of... Pashupati means coward boys. Because they are, they are uh, uh, raising the cows. And Pashupati Nath, they are leader. Nath means leader. So, O oh Krishna... You have no intelligence. Indirectly she is saying. You don't know how to please our lady. You are coming from Chandravali to please me. And don't know the art of pleasing. Why? Because you are brainless. Why you are brainless? Because you are associating with the animals. You have animal like brain only. Pashupati Nath. When you are going to someone, you should adopt some intelligence. At least you should wipe up all this stain which you have on yourself. But you don't do because you, you, you don't have brain. <coughs> Hence, Lalita Sakhi is prompting and teaching Radharani how to remain in sulky.
Sukhi mood. Also, one of the most important roles she is also teaching to Radha Rani. How to go to meet Krishna. This process, while going to meet Krishna is called Abhisar. In Abhisar, hiding from others, very hidingly and confidentially, when someone goes to meet her beloved, this going process is called Abhisar. In the night midnight, when it is dark, Radharani has to go to see Krishna. So, Lalita is saying, let's have a training for you. She is putting one, what do you call it, blind? Blindfold on her eyes. So that she has to move in darkness. And when she will go, from the path you might have already seen, so many thorns are there. So when she will go to see Krishna, in the way, so many thorns will be there and she won't be able to see them. And there may be water and very slippery way also, putting water on the earthly floor. She is saying now work on it and she spreads a few thorn on the floor also. And making her, teaching her how to work on it in a way that thorns may be there and should not be inside the feet. This is an art. Probably what I understand, Maharaj is also bringing us to these places so that we may also learn this thing. <coughs> then she is saying, when you will go there and see Krishna, then you should turn your back to Him. And your face must, your eyes must be on the right side and your speech must be on the left side. Why? So that no one should understand that to whom you are talking. And you should not be caught that you are in love with Krishna. Then he is saying, you have to go there very quietly. Don't speak, don't laugh. The moment you will laugh, it is dark night, your glowing teeth will Emanate the light outside and you will be recognized. Keep your mouth shut. This is the way, the method she is teaching. And when you start meeting Krishna, then again don't meet with him directly. Remain crooked, strong. Only then you can control him. While you will go, May be possible that your ankle bell may ring. Then tie it with cloth. Your bangle, ba bangle also. You tie it with cloth. So that sh they should not ring. They should not make any voice. This way, Lalita Saki teaches how to do Abhisar. To whom she is teaching? To Radharani. That shows how close she is with Radharani. She is topmost, closest friend of Radharani. She can engage us in service of Radharani. Therefore, our Acharyas are requesting her that please enable us so that we can be engaged in service of Radharani. We should ask for her mercy. Shubhanath Prabhu is saying that if we see that there are two paths Raganuga and Vedi Bhakti. Those who have just a little greed and they are coming in Bhakti because of greed, they adopt this Raganuga path. And those, don't, those who don't have greed, they have to adopt Vedi path. Vedi path means path which is according to rules and injections of our scriptures. And Raganuga path is which is because of our greed to add to to adopt certain type of service in Braj pastime. But in the process of cultivation, even in Raganuga path, there is some rules and regulations. What are those, what are those rules and regulations? That is following in accordance with someone. We have to follow the path given by Lalita. He is saying that in Ragatimika Gopis, there are two types of, one is called Sambandhatmika and one is called 
कामात्मी का आई एम नॉट कमिंग अनुगा देन वी विल से संबंधानुगा एंड कामानुगा दो जू फॉलो संबंधात्मी का दे आर आर दे विल बी कार संभानुगा एंड दो जू फॉलो कामात्मी का दे विल कार कामानुगा वट इज संबंधात्मी का आर दो आर हैविंग सर्टेन रिलेशनशिप विथ कृष्णा वाइफ ऑफ कृष्णा इज हैविंग ए रिलेशनशिप विथ कृष्णा सो देर रिलेशन विथ कृष्णा इज संबंधात्मी का and those who follow the vibes of krishna like rukmani and all other their devotion will be called sambandhanu ka but in raganuga gopis bhakti for krishna is kamatmi ka out of love and deep intense love lust and intense love is called kam and those who follow kamatmi ka gopis they are kamanamuga kamatimika has got two categories those who want to see krishna directly they want to please krishna directly they are called sambhogatmika because sambhog means to meet those who want to meet they are sambhogatmika and those who want to please radha rani those who want to प्लीज कृष्णा बाई प्लीजिंग राजा रानी दे आर कार्ड सतत भाव इच्छा मई दो आर वन विद द मूड ऑफ राजा रानी दिस वर्ल्ड सतत भाव मीन बिकमिंग वन विद द मूड ऑफ राजा रानी दीज टाइप ऑफ गोपी सतत भाव इच्छा मई वेन समन फॉलोज देन सच टाइप ऑफ रागानुगा डिवोटीज आर कार्ड रूपानुगा दे हैव टू फॉलो रूप मंजरी एंड ललिता सखी Unless we will follow their instruction, we cannot adopt this tattat bhav ichha mai. Therefore, Shri Bhakti Vinod Thakur is aspiring in his bhajan here. Malle dasi kari, Lalita sundari, Amare laiya kabe. Demanding from Lalita Sakhi, asking from Lalita Sakhi, praying very meekly at the lotus feet of Lalita Sakhi here in Ucha Gaon, and this mood is going to be induced and infected in our heart also by this prayer. But, oh Lalita Sakhi, make me Palya Dasi, make me maid servant of whom? Of course, for Sadarani, Amare Lilya Kabe. What should what should be the position? Shri Radhika Pade, Kale Milaibe, Agya Seva Samaritime. When you will make me enable to surrender at the lotus feet of Radha Rani and will engage me, will order me some service at the feet of Radha Rani. So this is the prayer of Shri Bhakti Vinod. High class of advanced devotees they pray like this. So this is most potent place, and we should also adopt this food and render such prayer. They, these prayers will be very powerful, at least when we uh, offer here. God Premanande. Digital, more realistic. Beautiful Bilash. This is mercy of Guru and Goranga. We came to this place in Varsana. This is called Pili Pokor. Pili means yellow and Pokor means Kund or lake. Horn. The past time behind this place was very sweet. Once when Krishna was a very small boy, he was wandering here and there and he came to this area and there he saw a very attractive um, beautiful girl and he was very fascinated by her so he approached her and he said oh I have never seen who are you I have never seen you before oh you have never seen me before because I stay in the garden 
of my father. He has a very big garden, so I have no need to go here and there. Don't you know who I am? I am not any ordinary girl. I am the daughter of Vrishabhanu Maharaj. So, do you know who I am? No, no, I don't know who you are. I am the daughter of Nanda Maharaj. Radhika said, Oh, I have heard that Nanda Baba, he has one son. And this son, he goes from door to door, he goes door to door stealing. Are you that son? And then Krishna said, Why are you making allegations against me? Have I stolen anything from you? No, no, you have not stolen anything from me. Then you should not make allegations against me. We should be friends. We can play together. Actually, you should come to my village. And if you come to my village, we can play together. Radhika said, Oh, I can play with you in your village. It is okay, but how will I find you? I don't know what, what is, what's your name. Krishna said, Oh, my name is Kanaya. My name is Kanaya. Radhika said, Kanya? I cannot say this. What is your name? I cannot say this name. Krishna said, No, my name is Krishna. My name is Krishna. And Krishna say? Krishna is My name is Krishna and Radhika she cannot say. I cannot say this word. Okay, my name is Kana. Mm. Ah, Kana. Krishna. Mm. Krishna. 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 Can you remember? Like Ia. Kana. So then, Radhika said, okay, I will try to remember. Radhika said, you will try to remember. Krishna went back to his village a few days later. Then Radhika came. She said to her Sakis, I will go to that village in underground. To meet with my new friend. One by one, all the sakis dropped out. Oh, we cannot go. It is too far. So finally, she met with Radhika. She arrived at Nandabhavan alone, on her own. Radhika decided to go to Nima. Then, when she got there, she met with Krishna and they were playing together so lovingly. You showed her Maya, she saw this girl and she thought, this girl is so beautiful. She has such attractive qualities. And she is also the daughter of Vrishwagana Maharaj. I have been thinking that my son should be married to a very qualified person, so who could be more suitable than her? Who could be more suitable? So then, you show the Maya, she was so affectionate to Radhika, she was embracing her and kissing her head on the head. And then she gave her some fruits, some new cloth. And some jewels. Uh, these are all the. This is the video for making an engagement. But Radhika did not know what was happening. No, this is the regulation for the video for 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 to marry someone. So then Madhya Yashoda, she took some haldi turmeric and she rubbed it on the hand of Shimati Radhika. Shimati just. Yo soy Damai, hizo una mezcla de jaldi. Then Radhika, she said, oh, now it, is, it, it has become very late, I must return to my house. Oh, y le puso una palma. Pero Radhika dijo, oh, no, no, ya es muy tarde, me tengo que volver a mi hermano. So when she was coming back from Nandagaon to Varsana, on the way she came here. Entonces en el camino de Nandagaon, entonces vino a este sitio. She thought, I have these fruits, I have these jewels, and I, I have this veil, this cloth given by Yashoda Maharaj. And I have, my hand is yellow. If I go home like this, what will my mother say? 
So she thought I'll wash off this turmeric in this lake here. Entonces ella lo que hizo fue agarrar la palma de la mano y lavarse la pinta en este lago. But when she began to wash her hands, then the whole lake became yellow. Entonces qué 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 problema porque la mano cuando se, se lavó todo el lago se convirtió en amarillo. Radhika said I was trying to hide the fact that my hand was yellow, but now this lake has made an advertisement of it all over Brazil. No, imagínense eso significa de que eh, esto va a ser como un and she cursed the lake, oh you should become dry. What? She cursed the lake, you should become dry. So this is the place where this pastime took place, it's called Pilipukar. But the marriage of Radha and Krishna never took place. It was stopped by Yoga Maya. The reason being, in the married relationship, then it is the vidhi, the regulation, and the custom that, that the wife is has dasya bhav towards the husband, the mood of a servant. So therefore, if this dasya 